Hey guys, and welcome to The Outdoor Life. Today we are gonna go over two French presses from Brutech. The Overlander, which comes in at about 50 bucks, and then the Double Shot, which comes in about 42 bucks. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate how these work, and I'm gonna demonstrate them in the way that I normally brew French press coffee. So I have a tendency to be a little more technical. This is not gonna be as technical as I do as home, but um, it is camping, so you know you don't want too much stress. But we are gonna pay attention to some uh, basic details so that way we actually get really good tasting coffee out of here. Now you may have seen a couple of these online, people just pour grounds in and pour water in and start drinking, and it's not quite that simple. But today, we're gonna show you how. So exactly what is French press coffee? Well, it's a pretty basic concept. So th the idea is, is you have a plunger with a filter on it, and that's what this is right here. So this is going to be your plunger, and these discs in here are your filter. So when I pour grounds in here, and then I pour water in here, hot water, I'm gonna pull the plunger up, and then I'm gonna put this on top, and I'm gonna let it set for a couple of minutes and I'm gonna let it brew. And once I'm ready for it to be done brewing, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push the plunger down and the water's gonna go through the filter and it's gonna push the grounds to the bottom and then you've got coffee. Now, what's unique about this particular device is that it actually is your all-in-one travel mug. So once your coffee's made, you just pop this top right here open and now you have the ability to drink right from here. And that's pretty unique. And that also goes with the uh, double shot over here. So now you're gonna ask, well, where's the coffee and stuff go? Good question. And here's another unique part. So this bottom comes apart right here. And this is where we put our grounds in. And you can see right there, the filter is plungered all the way down, but this is where our grounds go. So we're gonna put them in here. And, and that's important to know because once we're done and ready to clean up, we just screw this off, pour the grounds out, rinse it out, and it's ready to go again. Now on the double shot, it also has a bottom that comes off, as you can see here. However, this does not connect to the cup that's here. I'm not exactly sure why. I think that's a miss on Brutex part, but that's okay. I think they call it the double shot is because once you put your coffee inside of here and you drink your coffee, you can have more grounds in here and start over. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. So that's what's in, inside the bottom of these. All right, now I know that I said, put your grounds in, pour your coffee in, let it brew, push the plunger down, and then start drinking. But this is my own personal step. I have one more step that I do right in the middle. And this is the key to perfect French press coffee. It doesn't matter if it's in a travel cup, it's in, in this travel cup, or if it's in a professional French press press, this step cannot be avoided. And what we're gonna do is, is once it blooms, the initial bloom, and our first brewing process is done, we're gonna actually open it up, we're gonna push down the crust layer of the coffee, and that's gonna put it back inside of all the water, and then on the top, there's going to be a layer of film. That's where the coffee's gases have come off, and, and that's where that acidic part of the coffee is going to be. We're actually going to spoon that out and put it in a cup and discard it. And then we're going to let it brew for a couple more minutes because now we've got those, those grounds that have bloomed up, and you'll see what it looks like. We're going to let it brew for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to plunger it. That step is, is the one step that everybody forgets that makes perfect, and I'm talking about perfect, smooth, clear, drinkable coffee out of a French press. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up my bottom with some grounds. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this back together. We're gonna go ahead and take the lid off. We're gonna heat up some water. 
Now I do use a thermometer right here and I like around 205 to 209 degrees. That's a really good temperature for French press coffee. Um, it brews the grounds really well at that temperature. Ha <laughs> ha. We got our water nice and boiling hot right now. So let's go ahead and pull that out and set it aside. And we're going to go ahead and put in our water. We're going to fill it up to about, um, about three quarters of the way up. So let's do that right now. Okay, you can see inside there, it's already starting to bloom. So we're gonna go ahead and cover it up. Got our lid on, got our plunger up. Now, I typically wait about four minutes and then we're gonna do the next step. Oh, sorry, I uh, almost fell asleep there. Anyways, uh, not just kidding. So our four minutes has passed. Our coffee has its first stage has brewed. And then before I plunge this, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and we're gonna knock the crust down like I talked about a minute ago. And then we're gonna pull out all that acidity that causes coffee to be really bitter. So we're gonna just slowly open this up. I'm gonna move this over here out of the way. And we're gonna put the plunger right inside that cup. Just set it right in there. And as you can see, the coffee that's in there it's still brewing a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna break that crust up. So I'm gonna just mush it down like this. Okay, and now you see that foam that's in there? So that's the foam that we're gonna pull out. So we'll bring over our cup and we're just gonna pull this out. It's a little easier when you can tilt it sideways, but for the sake of the film, I'm gonna just knock it out. And now I'm starting to see some coffee down there. And all coffee has this. There we go. You don't have to get all of it out, just a good chunk of it. Again, that's where you get all the acidity from and that's where that bitterness comes from. So let's go ahead and put our lid back on and we're just going to let it brew for a couple more minutes and then we'll be ready to plunge all right so now we're ready to plunge so this should be nice and easy this shouldn't be difficult at all just a nice steady push straight down just super easy man i wish you could smell this so while we were waiting i went ahead and washed out my coffee cup and now we are going to check out our coffee. Like I mentioned earlier, this pops open. This is a perfectly sealed container, so you can toss it around and your coffee's in there ready to go. It's not, the filter's gonna hold the grounds down. This pops open and then it clips to the back and now you're ready to drink right out of this lid. But I'm gonna show you that we have absolutely incredible coffee. Look at that. Unbelievable French press coffee. Nice, smooth, awesome color. And that is how the Brew Tech Overlander works. So now that we have our coffee, let's talk about the Brew Tech Double Shot. Now this works very similar. So, except for it's, it's a little smaller. So it has its French press. Um, the process would be exactly the same. Put your coffee in, you just put your coffee in directly into here but you put your coffee into here, then you pour your water in and then you press. I go ahead and scrape and knock the bloom down as well and then cover it back up. It's a little smaller, doesn't hold nearly as much coffee as the Overlander. I think this one does around 16 ounces and this one will do around 28 ounces. Um, and again, I think the idea of the bottom here was that you were supposed to, you're supposed to put another shot of coffee in there. But the trouble that I have with it is, is that I'm not exactly sure what I would do um, if I was out on the road. So, I mean, I'm not gonna carry fire and stuff with me. If I was at a campsite, I would have double. 
but this one looks like it was really designed to go into a vehicle's coffee holder. So my concept would be is I'd leave the house, I'd have my coffee, um, maybe I'd get to the office, but then I still have to have hot water. And not only do I have to have hot water, but now I've got somewhere, I've got to dump all these grounds. I guess I could do it in the bathroom, but I'm not really sure. I really wish, I really wish they would have cut this out and followed the same concept as the Overlander. And that would have actually given me more drinkable coffee and because the grounds would be sighted in, in here, but it would put it in a smaller container and one that would go into the cup holder of a vehicle. Um, and that vehicle could be an ATV, your truck, your car, but that would have worked out really well. But it's not a bad little device. It's super sturdy. It's all made out of metal. Um, I still use it actually quite a bit, um, especially when I'm traveling. I just don't use the bottom. Somebody told me that they put snacks in there. <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, maybe you can put some gummies in there or some crackers, I guess. But um, so that's that's the Brutech Overlander and the double shot. I hope this was informative and don't forget that step in the middle where you knock down the bloom crust and then you scrape out the uh, that acidic um, uh, foam on top. That's you'll love me and you'll thank me forever the first time you try that. Hope you guys have a good weekend and we'll catch you on the next time.